Hey, Strike Eagle fans, this is Not So. Back with you for part three of the TFR series. As promised, I'm doing a um, night opposed sat uh, ride doing LGB uh, night loft uh, using TF limits. So you can see on the packs, I've got uh, GB 10s are loaded, carrying uh, two of those bad Johnnies. The target is uh, an oil uh, derrick that we're trying to blow up, uh, kind of doing a desert storm. Um, trying to knock out some oil pumps that the Iraqis have uh, set on fire. So we'll be simulating that on the uh, uh, NTTR range. So you can see, let me uh, let me jump into the F-10. So we're, we're trucking up here. We've just entered the uh, the range at roughly about student gap. A uh, bunch of threat rings. Uh, target sits right in this little uh, gap in the ring. So we're going to uh, enter down into a TF low level, work our way down through the mountain state uh, in between these threat rings and then do a uh, LGB loft uh, on that uh, oil derrick. Uh, be a right hand designator turn out uh, back out to the north and then essentially retrace our steps back out. Uh, don't really expect any uh, air threat on the way in since we're down low and uh, sneaking under radar. But once we start the hornet's nest, they might have some strip alert fighters that will uh, try to intercept us on the way back out. So we'll see uh, how that goes. So that is the overview of what we're doing. So uh, you guys have watched the previous TFR videos. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go into too much of the TF. I'm just going to kind of let you watch uh, how it goes. The one thing I am going to show you, however, is we always do a, a, a TF check uh, during the descent to make sure that it's working before we get down to the low altitude environment. So I'll go through a very abbreviated TF check. Essentially what I'm going to do is I'll enable the TF and then I'll roll to purposely put myself out of limits. Uh, to uh, ensure that I get the fly up, I'll couple it or I'll paddle it off. I'll roll back the other way as I hold the paddle switch, uh, basically disarming the TF. And then once I'm outside the limits on the other side of the roll, I'm going to let it go, and it should immediately give me a fly up uh, there, uh, just to make sure that the, that the fly up uh, function is working and then it's commanding correctly. What I'll do is we'll uh, we'll drop down. Um, I'll initially set it for a thousand feet uh, once we. Um, Get going and uh, it's set to a uh, hard ride so let's go ahead and get the show on the road so we are the uh, turn some lights on down here so what we're going to do is we're going to enable the tf switch i'll leave it in manual for now to um to simulate that so we begin our descent what i'll do is i'll purposely roll outside the limits two seconds and boom there's my fly up that's all looking good i'll paddle it off get the get the jet outside of limits on the other other side of that i'll let go of the paddle switch boom immediate fly up that's working exactly as advertised so i'm pretty comfortable with that and we'll continue the uh, the descent down into the low level it's like some scattered clouds as we're descending through you can see that the tf is now starting to pick up the uh the terrain I'll go ahead and set up for auto TF so I can be a little bit more hands off. So now you can see it's um, it's starting to command that. Again, if you remember from the limits uh, part two, we're outside of that 0 0.97. So I'll go ahead and slow back down. And now the airspeed caution has gone away. So that all works exactly as advertised. I'm gonna leave it at a thousand to, let, to make sure it commands before I get too close to the ground. And then uh, once I'm comfortable that it's uh, doing its thing, uh, I'll go ahead and step us down to uh, 200 feet. I'll keep it on norm. I'm not going to use VLC just because it's kind of mountainous and it really restricts my maneuvering. Uh, 200 is more than enough to get under the threats, what we want. So I should start seeing a command here pretty soon. There we go. There's my command up. I'm happy with that. I'll go ahead and start stepping that back down. And we're off to the races. Okay, so I'm going to do something a little non-standard. I'm going to have low the... Um, altitude. Low altitude. Uh, one thing I did forget to do is set that uh, laws correctly for the 200 feet. So I wouldn't normally do this. I would use the TSD down between my legs. But I'm going to leave it zoomed in so you can see the, uh, the screen a little bit better as I talk. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, we're coming up on the, the IP. Notice I've got a map leg or is already somewhat built in. So at about uh, 15 miles, I'll go ahead and get the, the radar, air to ground radar set up for a map of six point, and uh, we'll command a climb back up to 1,000 feet. Uh, 
that's all looking good. So we're in kind of a valley now. So what I'm using the, the, the nav FLIR for is one, to double check the, uh, the TF. Uh, also, I'm looking for uh, the lowest little uh, part of a saddle that I can get through. I don't want to balloon over these mountains. So I'm going to look out the TF, uh, or I'm sorry, the nav FLIR. I'm going to try to use a saddle or a low, a low point in the, in the ridge line to um, uh, get down. So there's my 15 miles. Twos is clear. I'm going to go ahead and step this up to 1,000 feet. Getting a little slow, so I'm going to push it up. As, uh, as I keep it from ballooning. Okay. Getting back into, uh, getting into the uh, air to ground radar now. Let me uh, come back to bring that back onto the scope. A lot of things going on here. All right, so now it's about uh, 20 degrees off the off the nose. I'm going to uh, ease away a little bit more to get a better um, map. You can see it's uh, uh, returns are now starting to, to peek into view. And I'll go ahead and get a six point toggled up while I'm waiting. Freeze that map, go into ML2. I can see my, uh, my big factory. That's all looking pretty good. Command another map. Freeze that again. Looks like we have uh, probably starting to get into a shadow. So I'll, uh, I'll get a little bit closer. Keeping it roughly at about 30 degrees uh, off the nose. Okay, we should be clearing this ridge line, so that's looking pretty good. We'll take one more map of this. You can see this ridge line here in the in the nav flear. Boom, there we go. So that's looking pretty good. I'll go ahead and toggle over to uh, target mode. Looks like my uh, bright returns right here in the in the little. Um, uh, horseshoe shape of the road is looking pretty good. There's my designation. I'm going to go ahead and start getting back down in the low altitude environment and go in target direct. Uh, as we go, we're 16 miles out now. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. TF is doing the right thing. Taking one more, uh, one last look at the air to air radar to make sure that we're uh, not going to get jumped by anybody. Go and target direct. There's a little bit of a fly up. I'll stop that. Get my coverage set correctly. Still got a little bit of time. And now we're into the target pod. Again, with a Wizzo, all this is super easy. Taking command of that, we'll pull at about. It's like those little oil derricks are not going to show up. For some reason, I don't know why they're invisible. We'll just use the uh, this factory as my uh, as my dimpy. Not sure why those old derricks are not showing up. So we'll pull at uh, we'll paddle it off and then we'll pull it five miles. Fifteen eleven is set and we'll do a delay lays mile to go to the pull. I'm gonna go ahead and paddle that off. Staying above uh, the TF box. There's the pull. Looking for about that three to four G. Pull up on the pickle button. Bombs are gone. Doing my 135 degree slice. Once I get the nose to the horizon, I'm going to stop the uh, the turn. Ah, there's my old Derek. Perfect. And now I'm going to get it back in. There's 10 seconds. Area track. Lasers on. My little old Derek. And splash! That's a shack. Okay. Trying to get back within TF limits here. There we go. And we'll uh, manually sequence over to steer seven. Getting back out and immediately getting into the radar. Going auto guns in the turn. 
And again, a whole lot going on. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Keeping that turn going around to get back out to the, uh, out to the, uh, back out to the east. Okay, good gun scan as I uh, head back out. Looks like a two's looking at me, but I'm going away from it, so I'm not too worried about it. You can see the turn rate in the uh, on TF is very slow, so you've got to you've got to take that into account. All right, I'm gonna go back out, and start doing a good uh, search with the uh, with the radar looking low first. Starting to get some spikes. Again, those are the twos. I say twos. See if I can get it any uh picture. Star five one. Colt one one. Request picture. Colt one one. Dark star five one. Clean. Okay, so pull we... up, pull up, pull up, pull up. See if we can fix that. Want to have a little bit of fun on the way back out. Okay, looks like the low uh, search is clear. Going to go up and do a high search with overlap coverage. And now we're uh, headed back out to our egress point. It looks like our strip alert guys got airborne and uh, we might have some fun on the way back out. So we've got time. I'll do one more low search just to make sure uh, nobody's going to sneak in and uh, make, our, uh, make our life not fun. So good discipline search here. And now we're going to set the coverage back up and start looking for those guys. Again, what we want to do is we want to try to stay in the low altitude environment as long as possible. We don't want to have to climb up, expose ourselves to the surface to air threats, and uh, and possibly uh, take a missile from the ground while we're uh, worried about this guy. Don't see him on the radar yet. Star five one Colt one one request picture. Colt one one Dark Star five one clean. It's like he's uh keeps going away for some reason. Not sure why. Let's see if we can find him. Okay, looks like I've got a contact out at about 45 miles or so, 23,000 feet. AWACS is pretty much useless to me right now. Good job, Dark Star. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. I don't know why he keeps going away. There we go. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll IFF him or AAI him. While we're uh, not locked, about 34 miles, coming up on a good shot range. I'll put a couple missiles into him. Again, I'm trying to stay within TF limits here as best I can. And I'll take about a 25-mile shot since I'm down low. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, dot and hole. Box. Obstacle ahead. Obstacle ahead. Obstacle ahead. Okay. Let's put another one to him. There's another one at 20 miles. Let's see if we can crank and get back down to low altitude environment so we become invisible to him. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. 
Okay, so now we're back in the TF low level environment, keeping a good uh, crank going. Looks like he's uh, starting to react to the missiles. They're both active. There's Tom out on one. Tom out on two. Looks like he may have defeated those guys. Let's see if we can uh, go ahead and climb back out of this. Let's get one more good shot on him. Good dot in the hole. Looks like he's still going away from us, so no factor. Let's get back down and we'll save our missiles. Okay, he's coming back hot. 12 miles out. Nope, he's still going cold. He keeps head faking me. And let's get back down to low level environment. Nope, of course, as soon as I go down, he's turning back hot. Okay, dot the whole shot. Let's see if I can get back down to low altitude environment. Okay, looks like I've got a splash on him. Still leaning away. See how we're doing on our route here. Let's see if we get back into, uh, get away from the uh, threats that are to my south. Yeah, that's all looking good. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Coming out of the fur ball, staying down low. Okay, I've got, looks like somebody, but I'm not spiked yet, so I'm going to stay down here, hunker down low, see if I can get away from this guy. He's probably going to have a really hard time seeing me down here in the clutter. Okay, so it looks like we've pull up, pull up, pull up, uh, evaded the uh, the last MiG. Uh, it looks like he's given up now. I'll, uh, I'll give one last... Uh, Chance for uh, Dark Star. Dark Star five one Colts one one request bogey dope. Colts one one Dark Star five one clean. Okay, so looks like he's no factor anymore, and we'll uh, head home. So this is not so. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the uh, the the demo with the Knight of Post Sat. Uh, tried to give you a whole flavor of uh, of everything in a, on a dark night. Navflare TF. Uh, mapping, uh, doing a night LGB loft with GBU-10s. Uh, that worked out really nicely. Then doing some uh, low altitude uh, radar targeting uh, of bandits, trying to stay in the low altitude TF regime. Because we can shoot them. Obviously, our ranges are much reduced down low, but it makes them a lot harder to find us uh, down in the weeds at 200 feet. So use that to your advantage. Again, with a Wizzo, I can't emphasize enough that this becomes way more simple. Pilot, you just be concentrating on the flying. Wizard's going to run all the radar down low, uh, all the sorting, targeting, and all you guys in the front seat have to do is shoot when the uh, Wizard tells you. So basically just do what he says, and uh, if you guys work together, uh, that stuff should be really easy. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Not so out, and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. See you. Bye.